Hi everyone, this is a tour of my bookcase, which is jam-packed at the moment, and I've just cleaned it up a little bit. So in this panel we have Marianne de Pierre, and we have Laura K. Hamilton, and we have Mary Janice Davidson. If you look, we the comic book series back there. I've only got four books, so I need to catch up with that massively. And I also need hit list for the collection, so... I have no idea where I'm going to put it, but I'm sure I'll find somewhere. <laughs> and in this one we have quite a few other authors. We have Kylie Chan, we have Trent Jamison, A.O. Bell, Tansy Rain Roberts, Tracy O'Hara, more Marion de Pierre, but under the name Marion Delacorte. We have Kate Forsyth, Rhiannon's Ride. I love that series. Michelle Bardsley. Love her books, they're so hilarious. We have Kim Harrison. Her books are great too. And what else have we got? Got some Christine Feehan way back there. And I also have Anne Bishop. And then this one we have Kerry Arthur and Rowena Corey Daniels. We have some Charlene Harris back there. There's some Anne Rice way back in there. Some of the vampire books that I have. Um, what else have we got? Cheryl and Kenyon. And then there's a naughty book that Dita Montese did. And Bishop, more Mary, da more, yeah, more Mary Janice Davidson. And right back under here is more Anne Rice. And then here we have Jacqueline Carey. Sherilyn Kenyon, Yasmin Galnorn. Now we've got a lot of those back there. And behind there is the naughty books that nobody else is allowed to read. Shh, don't tell anyone. We've got my autobiographies and poetry books. And there's Janet Vanovich down there. Then we've got high school yearbooks, a signed makeup book from Ray Morris. And then we've got the books that meant something to me in high school. Wendy Orr, um, Emily Bronte, I think it is. No, Charlotte Bronte. Yeah. Uh, we have Annette Curtis Claus. Uh, Animals of Farthingwood. I love that TV series, but the book's even better. Uh, Jean P. Sasson's Princess. Uh, Spellbinder. My school, there's one missing, and I'm pretty sure my daughter's taken it, but whatever. My hard copy of White Tiger, some really bad poetry books, dictionaries and such. Boring, boring. More boring. Did you love my little cowgirl? Yeah, I made her. <laughs> and then we have books I read. And then these are the books that I'm eventually going to give away. Books I've read, books I've got to read yet. There's my copy of Burn Bright and Angel Arias. Books I've reviewed for Burn Bright. My to be read list. Yes, we got quite a few books in there. And then I have my craft books. And oh, let's see, we've got more embarrassing ones from my childhood. And we got two of the best concert books ever. And some Candle King books. Boring. And that's basically my bookshelves at the moment. Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't show you these, did I? Look, bookmarks. Yeah. I'm never short for one and I make my own as well, so yes. It's very rare if I'm going, where's my bookmark? But you know what? I still tend to grab the receipt from buying the book or just a random piece of paper that's lying around simply because I don't want to lose my place and anything goes. And above we have Monster High. Hi, Jerry. More Monster High. Cabbage Patch Doll. School Doll. Monster High Doll. Another Monster High Doll. And and photos that my husband took of Montville when we went bushwalking. So they're nice and relaxing. And my pebble wall. 
So yeah, probably the book I'm looking forward to reading the most next would be a toss-up of these three books. So Trent Jamison, Kylie Chan and A.A. Bell. So yes, those three are the top three that I'm absolutely salivating to get to read. So hopefully they'll happen rather soon. That's my bookshelf. Bye everyone.